guys! It's Species Sims, and we are back with more of Kathy Rain. So we are just asking Grandma about cocky. <laughs> uh, so, let's talk to Grandma. Yo, Grandma! Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? <laughs> Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? All I do is sit here and drink coffee. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Makes sense. Like Goose and Iceman? Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. <laughs> To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. Talk to me, Goose! <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. <laughs> Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. She's kind of awkward in the very beginning, but I actually really like her. I grew to like her very quickly. Um, I do miss, like, from... I was thinking about this after I played the first part. I was like, I really do miss... Um, Joey from the Blackwell Legacy series. I really do miss Joey. I liked him a lot. But I like her better than I think I liked Rosangela. So, like, I would love to see it. They're two different game developers, but oh my god, I would totally love to see them together. Like, she's got Joey's attitude, and, like, I totally miss Joey so much. Like, uh, his friggin' attitude, like, his, it was so great. I miss him. But, you know, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? And it's, this is totally made on the same game, game engine, you know? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force <laughs> might be a good place to start. Okay. Okay. Um. Do you know anything about a young girl drowning around here? Oh, yes. It was the saddest thing. She was only 16. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember the name of the girl or her family? I'm awfully sorry, dear. I, I just can't recall. That's okay, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps I, he wanted to do something for the family. I'm guessing that, you know, it's when she's asking, she's In any showing case, the thing he didn't at the same speak time. To me about it. I don't know. But okay, so Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So, when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war. Together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried, I thought I would burst. Don't blame you, Gramps. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy. But he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. But he came home. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Sorry, I needed a drink. Hope you didn't hear that. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he passed. Uh, I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Okay. Um, can we ask her about... Bram, this? can you tell me anything about this picture? <laughs> Maybe we'll show her the other one, too. It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Uh, what about this one? Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. I mean, we already know where it came from, but... Goodness. I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell okay. Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. Maybe that's cocky. 
bird. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Mm. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? Phone book? <laughs> I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew mm. apart before you were born. I bet he's cocky. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. We already did that. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Okay. Uh... I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Okay. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Let's go see if we can look up... Charlie! Can we look up Khaki in the phone book? Use phone and phone book. Oh, my gosh. Phone book. Search. Damn. No Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. Mm. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. All right, got it. Okay. Let's, uh... Can we call the Air Force Base? No. Uh... I don't want to call the Air Force Base. I don't like it. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Uh... Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Springs citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff, all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I really think if you called an Air Force base and just asked them randomly, so you know anything about that crazy dude that came Oh yeah, let's do What? I don't think he would I'd be like, I'm this is the Air Force man, we can't talk to you. That it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. That makes it sound suspicious that it could have okay. been. Okay, what can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but... Some say the war broken. PTSD. You just asked your grandma and she said it was like he needed to do it for his Maybe, family. I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was his guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. It was war. Gotcha. Thanks I mean, for the I'm not saying it makes it easier, but just saying, like... Um... What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett Xavier Myers trained at this very base. Joseph Vigilante Rain and Brett Xavier Myers. Ethan Fireball Jenkins. Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. 
Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. I'm guessing it's Charles Cocky Wade. Interesting. Thanks for the history lesson. Notice he didn't give Charles one? Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. Huh. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. <laughs> would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm trying to get a hold of him. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. <laughs> I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Um, yeah, even though he knows that you are related to, because of the earlier questions, he just magically forgot that. Okay! Nice try. You know what caller ID is? I can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. Goodbye. Damn it. Damn, I can't pull that off if I call from here. <laughs> I gotta go to this thing. Um... I guess we could, I guess, try. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know where we should go. Okay, so we'll probably have to end up going back to the police station, maybe? But I don't know if we should go there now. Maybe we can go find the... Let's go here first and see if we can find the dead girl. Can you actually, like... We can smoke! <laughs> That's awesome! Alright, cool. I just didn't know if we could do that. Anyway. Uh, I was trying to rotate the screen like I was playing Sims. Oh my god. Anne Blackwell. Eleanor Foy. Okay, I don't know if maybe... Uh, All right, this is the right date. Looks like her name oh. was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. Lily Myers. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey. I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. Hey, kid. Hi, yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh. Twat. I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Uh-huh. Whatever. She's not here. I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. I wasn't trying to leave. I was trying to go and see if we go further in. Kid? I knew that was gonna happen. Guess he found his mom. Uh, he vanished. 
I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. The grave is brimming with flowers. Aww. I don't think any of these other ones are. No reason to go in there. A family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things hmm. don't come cheap. It says price. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I was like, hmm, do we need to remember that? I don't know. Uh, what was that chick's name? Lily something or other? I don't know. Myers? Lily Myers? Is that it? I don't remember. Anyway, so let's go... Uh, let's go to the police station. And then we'll use the phone. Uh. Let's, uh. Lenny, I need you to do something. Hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. Okay. Uh. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Here we go again. Search? I don't know what we're searching for, but... <laughs> Okay, there's got to be something in here about Lily Meyer's death. That would make sense. I was like, what was I thinking okay, when I came in? Like, what do we have here? Uh, emergency services are called by a resident near Conwell Lake uh, who reports that a young female, approximately 16 years old, has been found dead floating in the water, presumably drowned. Officers arrived at the scene. EMT is en route, uh, delayed by fog. The body is fully clothed, and there are no apparent signs of foul play. Incident declared as a likely accident. A sweep of the residence reveals a suicide note matching victim's handwriting. Witness reports earlier, witnesses report earlier mental health problems. EMT finally arrives. The girl is declared dead by medical personnel and transported to the city morgue. EMT finally arrives. 5.18 a.m. She, they are called. EMT is en route at 5.44 a.m. At 7.26 p.m. they arrive. 12 fucking hours later. 14. 11.20 a.m. I think that's supposed to say a.m. Oh, no. No, okay. No, because this is two days later. Coroner report received. Cause of death is determined to be drowning. No exterior signs of struggle. Suicide confirmed. Hmm. Looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. Can we call the Air Force Base now? Connell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. He doesn't remember. Ma'am, ask away. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. Oh, can do. Yep, okay. I do have official... Blah, blah, blah. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what- Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I- Relax, okay? I'll check the files. <laughs> I love her so much. Seven six four one. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so now should we um call? Cocky. Wait, residents. 
Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? What is this about? Rainer, you sound like you're like 75, darling. I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. I was just going to call no, her the B-word. She hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Yeah. He's probably cocky because his daughter certainly sounds like one. Okay, so I guess... <laughs> Bye! What's your name? Whatever his name is. Um. Let's go back to Grandma's house! We're still on day one. <laughs> let's go find Grandma. Let's see if we can ask her. We've asked her everything else, but let's see if we can talk to her about Lily, now that we know the girl's name. Oh, hello, dear. Hi, Grandma. Can we talk? Sorry. Whoops. Nice leather chair. Oh, crap. Talk. <laughs> I interrupted her. I was hoping that would Mind speed her up. Mind if we talk? No. Okay. I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after oh. Lily took her own life. He disappeared in the woods. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they hmm. tend to keep to themselves. Phone book! I don't see a reason to ask uh, okay, so we've See you asked later, Grams. Take care. Okay, we've already asked her about everything. Phone book. Use phone book. Uh. Search phone book. All right, found an address. else in there okay so i'm assuming that the address will take us to their house um we have a little bit of time i guess looking at it hmm. let's just go to their house let's just see we'll see how long that takes maybe it won't take too long because some of these bits are really quick and then other parts it's like 20 minutes later we're like oh i was like oh here we go <laughs> She <laughs> looks funny with the giant eyeballs. Dink dink. Yes? Can I help you? Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. What do you want? Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? She's I had some pleasant. questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly, you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Obviously. G oh. Uh... Won't you ever give up? Nope. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Uh. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. Uh. Just go away. Uh. I'm not leaving until I get some answers. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying me. that. Uh, can we give her something? Stop! 
Damn it! I don't see how those... I was trying to, like, offer her a cigarette. Maybe she'll smoke with us. Care to join me for a ah. smoke, Mrs. Myers? That's what I was thinking, you know. Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Coralie Centers. Extra. You got taste. I'll give you that. <laughs> She's like, I'll think about it. What brand? Oh, crap. I was... Sorry. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh now that was a good one <laughs> you know what kathy you're okay sorry for being such a cranky old bag before i get a short fuse when i run out of smokes now that's an understatement good thing i had my morning smoke otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands <laughs> oh it's getting chilly why don't we head inside how oh, nice sure let's go Thanks. Now, this here's my boy, Nathan. He's special. Ah. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. He's normal. Hi there, he big guy. normal. Little chubsy. You can talk to him. What you doing? Are you crying? What Coloring? You doing, big fella? Drawing. Drawing. Oh, yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No. The nice red man. Now, what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? <laughs> Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. He seems kind of normal, but... The red man is nice. Like a child, but I don't know. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings the thanks red to that probably... wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. I would say that, uh... I can smell something cooking kind of weird that they live in this tiny I lake. I smell something. Okay. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. What else? Ouch. You sit? Oh, we're gonna go sit. Nice. So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him. And the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth. That she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. She has an owl. You better mm, not taxidermy right. that. Anything else? Better well, real. <laughs> he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I was just wondering that. Like, that's really pretty. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I, I didn't the really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Mm. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Charles Ah. Uh... Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. Ah, shit. How long? <laughs> a week, maybe, at the most. Damn it, we're gonna die. I don't need to ask her about Okay. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. It has something to do with the fucking woods! Everyone goes in the woods and comes out cray-cray. And then the Air Force Base is like, it has nothing to do with us! Lies! When Lily was ten, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. Just like him! 
we didn't have much. The really. red. And so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up. And, well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. Uh, I don't need to... Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Oh, he's in jail. Man, that must be rough for you. At least we know what happened to him. Oh, we're doing just fine without him. Aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Uh. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Probably only from that art critic. Not really. I mean, that creepy dude. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh. Did he say why? Nope. But I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. All right, Sue. Oh, crap. Thanks. I didn't mean to click that, so I missed that. And I don't think that there's a way to go back. Uh, no, there's not. I totally missed. Sorry. That was my fault. I missed it. Let's just see if, uh... Tell me about this. Rich, okay. he knocked on that door. Huh. Here we go. Nope, but I okay. got the feeling that most of that... Did okay. the stranger give you his name? No. Here we go. His face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray. No beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Uh, I guess I that's I'm all. Head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Lies. They're awesome. <laughs> I'm like trying to get her to leave, but there's no like exit. Okay. Okay. Uh. Take off. Um, I think this is as good a place as any to leave it, so I will wrap this part up here. I will 
see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.